girls' night out at BF's home. Jessica, Peter, and Peter's sister were good friends, but unfortunately, they lost the touch because they studied in different colleges. Hi. Hello. Long time. I hope I am not disturbing you. No, you can never disturb me. So tell me, what's going on in life? Life is good. It's been really long. We should meet, don't you think so? Yeah, sure. When? Today. Are you kidding me? No, I'm serious. Come visit my sister and I. Sorry, Peter. It's not possible. My parents won't allow me. I've got homework to do. Actually, I already talked with them and explained that my sister was really excited to hang out with you too. She wants to beat you at that video game you love to play. Oh. Okay, great. Great. We'll see you later then. Okay. Thanks for taking the time to talk with my parents. Hey, no problem. Your folks are pretty cool. Yeah, they sure are. See you. Yep. And let your sister know that I'm gonna cream her on the video game. Nice. Jessica and Peter are going to meet at his home and gonna have lots of fun. Jessica and Peter had a healthy conversation, and they finally decided to meet on the very same day. But now it was Jessica's time to tell her parents about the night stay. Hello, dear. Hey, mom. How is your day going? It's going okay. Thanks for asking, Dad. So Peter came and talked with us earlier today. He explained to us how he and his sister would like you to come over to spend the night. Yeah, he told me he spoke with you. Mm-hmm. Yes, and we thought a slumber party sounded like a nice idea, with the three of you getting to hang out and such. Yeah, I hear you have the high score on that video game you play with Peter's sister. That's my girl, always going for the gold. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I do. I might let her win this time. So just make sure you have everything packed for your game night, dear. Sure thing, Mom. I'll make sure to pack my toothbrush stuff too. Ah, oh, look, honey, our little girl is growing up so fast. Thanks so much, Mom and Dad. This is gonna be a blast. And I'll be sure to check in on my cell phone each hour too. You bet your buttons you will. Thanks, sweetheart. Well done! Jessica's parents are happy with her night stay at Peter's home. She is very grateful that her friend Peter took the time to speak with her parents and make the arrangements. Love it! Terrific! Terrific! Amazing! Great job! Great job! Great job! Amazing! Well done! Back she is all set to leave her house and go to Peter's place in her two-sitter car. There are lots of thoughts crossing her mind, so make sure she reaches her place safely. Tap on the button to move the car forward. Some more distance to cover. Well done! Destination has arrived. Nice! Peter welcomed Jessica and both are really happy by seeing each other. What can be more productive than cooking some delicious food? 
they helped each other in cooking varieties of dishes, like hot dogs, pasta. I am a bit hungry. Me too. Wait, you can cook? Sure can. I didn't get an A plus in home economics class in school for nothing. You're one pretty impressive dude, Peter. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm just full of surprises. <laughs> I can chop vegetables really well. Well, that's great. Time to make some delicious hot dog. Take the hot dog bread. Take some fresh sausages. Switch on the oven. Wait for a while. Switch off the oven. Place the sausage in the bread. Time to add some salads. Let's add some sauces. You can add some cheese to it. Hey, your hot dog is ready. Wow, Peter really impressed Jessica by showing his cooking skills. Finally, dinner is ready and they're willing to have proper candlelight dinner. But before dinner, we need to arrange the table and make their evening fun-filled. Let's enjoy their conversation and arrange the table for them. Rub the matchstick to light the candle. You look mesmerizing. Can't take my eyes off. Thanks, Peter. You look handsome. Thanks, Jessica. Which kind of music would you like to hear? Some soft music will do. Let's select a classy music for this evening. <laughs> Pour the champagne into the glasses. <laughs> Which kind of cuisine do you prefer to have? I like Italian food, but I mostly have... That's great! Now serve the food which they want. Amazing! Dinner is all set. Yeah, thanks to you. Come on, you don't need to thank me. Without you, it would have been impossible. Did you? Anyway, tell me, how is life? Life is pretty interesting, I think. Unexpected things just keep popping up. Like you knowing how to cook. I'm really hungry now. I can't resist it now. Yeah, me too. It's smelling good. Tasty! Wow! They are having such a perfect dinner and a good quality time. Jessica, Peter, and Suzanne are sitting in the drawing room. Jessica is feeling bored, so Peter initiated to watch a movie. Ah, I'm bored now. Let's do something. Exactly. I'm also feeling bored, but what will we do? I have an idea, girls. What is it? Let's watch a movie. What do you say? I like your idea, Peter. Let's see an entertaining movie. All right. 
but I will select the genre of the movie. Help Suzanne to select a genre of the movie. Okay, but I can't watch a movie without popcorn. All right, I'll handle the popcorn. Help Peter to select the flavor of the popcorn. Add the flavor and corns into the machine. Switch on the popcorn making machine. Select a nice popcorn box. Fill the box with popcorn. Give them tasty popcorn. Now that's what I call some entertainment. Hmm, popcorn are too good. Thank you, brother. Suzanne, you've selected a nice movie. I'm loving it. I am having such a great time, Peter. Thank you so much. When Suzanne is not watching, help Peter to do some popcorn prank with Jessica. I know what you are trying to do. Caught you, Peter! It's great! All of them are enjoying the movie with some tasty popcorn. After the movie, Suzanne was insisting so much to play the video game. So all of them decided to play the video game. Today I'm going to beat you up in this game, Jessica. In your dreams, Suzanne. Show me what you've got. Fantastic! They're playing the video game and having lots of fun. Hey, this one is for you. Peter, Jessica, and Suzanne are hiding somewhere in the room. You throw the pillow whenever anyone tries to sneak. Good job! That's great! Good job! Good job! Good job! Good job! Good job! You missed it! That's great! You missed it! Too good! You missed it! You missed it!
too good. Excellent! You have played a great pillow fight. Well done! After dinner, Jessica and Peter were really tired. Jessica already exceeded her routine sleeping time. Peter and Jessica will have... Are you sleepy? Yeah, after watching movie, pillow fight, playing video game, and fantastic food, now I can hardly keep my eyes open. Where should I sleep? You can set up your sleeping bag in my sister's room. Careful, she'll talk your ear off if you let her, and then you'll never... <laughs> then I guess I should sleep into another room. Okay then, you can sleep in my room. There's also an extra bed. Alright, Peter. So I guess since you're full, you don't want to make a dash to the kitchen and raid the fridge for a midnight snack at 9... Th no thanks, Peter. You're right. I am pretty full from that yummy dinner you made. Your sister sure loved the ice cream, too. Yeah, I'm glad we dished ours up first. She ended up finishing off the rest of it. I'm surprised she didn't get a brain freeze. Yeah. Well, good night. Good night, Peter. Jessica and Peter both are going to bed after a small talk. Jessica and Peter really had so much fun and amazing food last night. Jessica is in a deep and sound sleep. Peter, thanks for this amazing night. I really had a great time. Same here, Jessica. I'm glad you came. Hmm, let's go to sleep, Mo. Good night, Peter. Good night. Sweet dreams. Oh no, I'm really very sorry. Are you okay? No, I am wounded. Hey, don't you worry. You need first aid immediately. Let's go to a nearby hospital for treatment. It's really painful. She needs treatment. Remove Let's the dirt and thorns. Clean the blood. Apply the antiseptic liquid. Apply the ice pack. Apply the ointment. Cover the wound with the help of bandage. Well done. She is feeling better. How are you feeling now? Pain is relieved. Thank you so much for taking care. I hope you'll be okay. I'm feeling so guilty for you. No, no, it's okay. Accident happens. Um, would, would you like to come with me on a dinner date? That's my style to say sorry. Um, okay. That will be great. Oh, wow. In Jessica's dream, Peter asked her out for the date. She really had a wonderful time at her sleepover. Also, she also had a dream in which she met with an accident, and then he helped him. She is still asleep. Let's wake her up. It's time to start a wonderful day. Good morning! <sighs> time to start my special hair look. It's time to brush the teeth. Brush it. Well done! You have helped Jessica for her morning activities. 
finally, the time has come when she's going to ask him to be her boyfriend by giving him a beautiful rose. She is going to express her feelings for the first time. And I want to tell you something. You're such a great friend. Your sister is really competitive. But you, you're just, well, a gentleman. You're respectful of my parents and of me. You're just, well, a really great guy, Peter. Is there any chance you might want to be my boyfriend? Funny you would ask me that. <laughs> I was actually going to ask you if you wanted to be my girlfriend. So, yeah, I guess great minds think alike. This romantic moment is incomplete without a kiss. Tap on the button to make them kiss. Let's capture this beautiful moment for our lifetime memory. Let's take a selfie. Wonderful! Jessica proposed Peter, and Peter said yes. It's so beautiful. Now Jessica and Peter are in a love relationship, so they have planned a romantic dinner date to have a good time. Both dressed up beautifully for the date and arrived at the venue. Let's set the table before they arrive. Pick some nice plates. Choose beautiful Give them their favorite food. You look mesmerizing. Can't take my eyes off. Thanks, Peter. It's a beautiful evening, isn't it? Yeah. Look at the beautiful sunset. Perfect ambience for a date. And a perfect date. Yes, a perfect date. Amazing! Jessica and Peter's love story was really exciting! Girls' Night Out at BF's Home